We're excited to announce that Terraform Explorer for workspace visibility is now in public beta. This launch provides developers with a unified view of all of your Terraform Cloud workspace data across your organization. To tell us more about this exciting public beta release, I'm in the studio with Paul, who works here at HashiCorp as a senior product manager working on the Terraform team. Thanks so much for being here. Jordan, thanks for having me. I'm really excited to talk about all the new releases coming to Terraform this quarter. I'm really excited to jump into it, and I think all the developers out there watching are really looking forward to learning about all the new releases. So to set the stage for those of you that aren't familiar with Terraform, it's HashiCorp's most popular product and is the most downloaded tool when it comes to infrastructure provisioning and management across multi-cloud environments. Terraform has thousands of providers and modules that enable developers to easily integrate their Terraform workflow with any third-party service. Paul, what has your team been working on recently to help add to this already rich Terraform ecosystem? Well, Jordan, we've been working with a few customers to develop some features that I think they'll love. Uh, it's focused on the idea of cutting cost, fast delivery, reducing risk, and infrastructure management. We have three new features that I'd like to share with you, you all and the developers uh, and talk more about. The new Explorer beta for workspace visibility, continuous validation with checks, and config-driven import. So let's talk about this new release called Terraform Explorer for workspace visibility. It's currently in beta, but it should be GAing soon. And for all the developers watching, this is a feature that they can actually go and check out today. So if you're a dev using Terraform and you start implementing more tools and technologies into your stack, you'll notice that managing your cloud ops landscape can start to become challenging. There tend to be security and compliance issues with maintaining software versions like modules, providers, and Terraform versions. That's right. Within a company, you probably have a smaller platform team that needs to support many other application teams with lots of workspaces. So they end up hitting a scaling problem supporting the growing complexity of the organization. This happens with modules and other data, like you said. Our initial release for Explorer for Workspace Visibility should start to help solve these problems for platform teams and application developers. We're now surfacing a lot of data uh, uh, that's hard to find and we're making reporting streamlined. So how exactly is this new consolidated view of all of your Terraform Cloud Workspace data more streamlined with this new release? Yeah, that's exactly what we set out to accomplish. There's some huge benefits that come with Explorer. With a consolidated view of all your uh, Terraform Cloud Workspace data across your organization, your environments are more consistent, secure, and validated with up-to-date versions. A lot of our customers are very excited about this release because for example, they can track Terraform versions in their organization instead of working through different teams to pull the data manually or have to build their own systems around it. So because we've given you this data front center, we've also improved security and compliance by giving admins the tools to expose old versions and identify workspace health problems at scale using continuous validation and drift detection. I think the best way to visualize these security, compliance, and developer productivity improvements would be with a demo. And since we have you in the studio, Paul, would you be able to walk us through this new Explorer feature in Terraform Cloud and show us how it works? Sure, I'd love to. So the first step is to visit an organization page. Explorer is a new link in the sidebar, so you can click that. Explorer gives you a few direct links to use cases you can work on immediately, or you can start with the type of data you want to explore. We'll take a look at our failed continuous validation checks first. Now I can see which workspaces have failing checks across my organization. And here you can see I have one failing check. I can then use the command K menu to quickly navigate to it. And health is on the right there. So back on the Explorer page, I can also click on top module versions to see modules in use. Here I can see the versions, where they're found, and click through to see the list of workspaces using a particular version. So those might become common workflows as you assess your workspace health and module usage. But you find other things like provider versions, Terraform versions, and other common workspace data. We'll be adding more data and capabilities to the system over time and you'll see us start to solve more use cases using Explorer. We hope you'll find new critical workflows here. 
I really love the way this new UI looks, and I know that I'm personally excited to try this out myself and sign up. But for all the developers out there that want to sign up for themselves, where do you recommend they go to get started? We have a link on the screen where you can go to check out the beta and get started. So make sure to click that link, and we can't wait for you to try it out.